Hi, I'm Crystal. And I'm Michaela, and we are here to review our first book from our 12 book series, Never Split the Difference, Negotiating as if Your Life Depended on It by Chris Voss. We review new books every month with a focus on self-development, so let's get into it. We chose this book because being that we're in real estate, we have to negotiate for our clients all the time. Without knowing much about the book, I thought that the author would be a successful salesperson or an entrepreneur, but he's actually a former FBI agent who negotiated with criminals mainly in hostage situations. Yes, and in hostage situations, splitting the difference is not an option. Either they safely bring back the hostages or they're killed. And as it turns out, people are emotional, even criminals and terrorists. In order to negotiate effectively, he had to figure out ways to calm them down, allow them to speak, gather the information so that he could figure out what their motivation and how to get the hostages back safe. By the way, if you're liking this video, hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. The author uses Oprah Winfrey as an example of a person who is great at doing this. She has a great way of getting people to say things that they normally wouldn't say. And people are telling her their deepest, darkest secrets in front of millions of people because they like her and trust her. Yes, Oprah's a great listener and Chris Voss says throughout this book that it makes people feel good to know that someone is hearing them and acknowledging their situation. And it doesn't always mean you have to agree with them. But just by acknowledging their situation, it immediately shows that you are listening and understand where they're coming from. And that creates trust. The author also says that so many people are scared to hear no, but really it just means I'm not comfortable with that. Be glad that they're saying no instead of giving you a fake yes in order to get rid of you. If you hear a no, that's an opportunity for them to explain what's on their mind. And it gives you an opportunity to paraphrase what they're telling you because then you can get a that's right, which according to Chris Voss is even better than a yes because this is when you connect with that person. No is the gateway to yes, and hearing no, you have time to pivot, adjust, re-examine, and can create the environment for the one yes that matters. When you think about the cringy car salesman who has all the scripted questions that, can't, that you can't say no to, you know the guy with the fake smile who thinks he can trick you into buying something that you don't want. You feel your muscles tighten, your voice gets defensive, and I don't know about you guys, but that makes me want to get out of that situation because I feel like he's trying to persuade me to do something I don't want to do. Getting to know first is just the start of the negotiation. It provides a great opportunity for you and the other party to clarify what you really want by eliminating what you don't want. Saying no gives the speaker the feeling of safety, security, and control. And when you use a question that prompts a no answer and your counterpart feels by turning you down, he has proved that he's in the driver's seat. If you try to get a yes straight off the bat, the other party will feel defensive like they don't have the upper hand. One example Chris gives when calling a client, he says, instead of saying, do you have a minute to talk? Instead ask, is now a bad time to talk? Either way, you'll get it's a bad time followed by a good time or no, it's not a bad time. Just by changing the way that you say things can make a huge difference. He also talks about your tone and body language and how they're even more important than the words that you say. Be confident in what you want when negotiating and don't be afraid to hear no. It also helps to know what personality type you're dealing with. An analyst, accommodator, or assertive. Once you know which type they are, you'll know the best way to approach them. Pay attention to verbal and nonverbal cues. Find as much common ground as possible, whether it's cultural or religious. This is a really interesting negotiating style and different from most negotiating books like Getting to Yes. Instead of making your counterpart feel like you're tricking them into saying yes, you want to get as much information as possible so you know what's most important to them and the other person feels heard. At the same time, you're able to express your needs and the other party can be a part of finding the solution. If you read this book, let us know what you thought about it by dropping a comment down below. Our next book in the series will be Atomic Habits by James Clear. 
and we'll be doing a review on it the first week of March. If you'd like to read along with us, subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.